is Jared Payton, son of Sweetness, and uh, Walter's 1979 Porsche 930 Turbo auctioned off live today on NBCSN. Jared, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, Dan. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing great. Uh, so who came up with the idea of auctioning off Dad's Porsche? <laughs> well, it is uh, something that I've been thinking about for a long time. It's something he left to me, and, um, you know, he cared about this car so much, Dan, and I'm not a car guy. And when it comes down to it, I feel bad looking at it sometimes because I feel like I don't drive it enough. I work so much now covering, you know, stuff here in Chicago for WGN. It's it's so hard. And any time that I have family time, I start my week on Sundays. I end on Thursdays. Fridays, I'm home with my daughter, sometimes with my son when he gets home and we hang out. Friday's the only day that we have as a family on Saturday. So there's no time for me to drive it. And I keep looking at it going, what would he want me to do? And I think right now he's probably looking down on me saying, you haven't sold that thing yet? What are you doing holding on to it? <laughs> what other memorabilia do you have of your dad? What's the coolest piece of memorabilia? Um, the things that mean the most to me are the game-worn jerseys and the things that are priceless. You know, like uh, the, the bag that my dad brought home the last day from Hallis Hall with all of his stuff in it. It's got tape in there. It's got shoes, the old kangaroos. Like that's the stuff that means the most to me, Dan. And that's the stuff that I'll never, ever give away. That's the stuff I want to be able to pass on to my son to have, the stuff that to me is is priceless. Um, this car, it's an investment when you look at it. And where I'm at right now as a father, as a husband, it's not what I'm looking to invest money in. I've, and I've invested money into it. So my goal is to have somebody out there that will truly, truly love this car and also respect it and take care of it the same way that my dad would. There's usually a reserve on cars like this that has to get to a certain price. Is there a reserve yeah. on this? <laughs> There's no reserve, Dan. I was on I was on WGN the other morning, and uh, Gus, and, you know, he works for Meekum, came up to me and was asking me about what we were going to do. And I'm like, I don't know if we're going to you know, do a reserve. I feel like when you put a reserve on, that means that you have a little bit of control, right? And I started thinking about it. The camera went live, and I just woke out and go, man, breaking news there's no reserve wow and uh this car is this car is going to be sold actually tomorrow afternoon oh. and it's uh slot 134 so pretty cool and and once i said there was no reserve you should have seen the emails that i was getting from all over the world famous people have emailed me that are now in on the bidding i wish i could tell you who they are but i told them that i would keep it quiet but it's uh it's going to be pretty exciting so i look forward to seeing how the whole process plays out Former teammates interested in buying this car? Um, no, I haven't got any former teammates. Okay, all right. Just people, people. Uh, I, just some people, some actors, and some famous people have uh, sent some emails. Yeah, okay. so pr pretty cool. Some, and they, I guess if you look, a lot of big, huge Walter Payton fans. So if you go out there and look at some famous actors that are Payton fans, you'll probably figure out who it is. I'm thinking Vince Vaughn is interested in this, or Bill Murray. <laughs> No, I didn't get emails from those two guys. I can tell you that. Well, Bill Murray's not going to email you, but so so wasn't Vince Vaughn. What if what if Mitchell no. Trubisky says I want the car? Him and I can talk about a price, man. Um, he's one of my favorites. He really is. He's one of my favorites. So we can figure out and and talk about a price. And I, I still remember when he was drafted, you know, by the Bears. The one of the first things when people asked him who was one of his favorite players was, he said, you know, he did a lot of studying on my dad, and I think that made the transition for a lot of Bears fans here in Chicago pretty happy. So if I offered $100,000 right now, do we then not do the auction on Saturday? Mm, you're going to have to get, listen, I know, I know what you make, man. You're going to have to dig deeper in those pockets. <laughs> actually, what I wanted to do, because I told Paul, I wanted to do is actually just take the car and put it behind you and just let you guys kind of like keep it there Ooh. so the car could actually be behind you every single day. But I'd have to take it out and test drive it. I have to do that with all my cars, though, Jared. Oh, well, you know what? Fly to Chicago. We'll make it happen. Yeah. It <laughs> I can drive it back from <laughs> Chicago, right? I'm going to guess yes, that. Yeah, this is going to be a, it's six figures. It's, it's probably going to be. And, you know, the provenance, the fact that it was your father. How long did your, your dad bought it new? Yeah, he bought it, um, bought it new. And so it's his first sports car. It's the last sports car of his that we still have. And, um, 
you know, it was his baby. He Wait, where's the Lamborghini? Baby. The rushing the record Lamborghini? Lamborghini? Well, it, for some reason, that thing kept breaking down back in the day in the <laughs> 80s. And my dad, my dad was super upset about having to, like, he had to go, he had to go fill it up at O'Hare Airport. So he was always, like, super upset. And that thing kind of went and gone. He had the Ferrari and all that stuff. But this is the one, Dan, that stayed. And this is the one that meant the most. And um, there's, there's so many cool stories. I still remember and my mom's probably going to kill me for telling you this. I remember being at a, a skate park and I was at a listening to a band and I went outside this girl. And it was when I was like 13 years old, she handed me a cigarette and she handed it to me and I had it in my hand and I, I wasn't, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Cause I, I didn't know what to do with it. And then as I was maybe about to go take a drag, I look over to my right and people were like, cool car. And my dad is sitting in this Porsche looking at me. And I'll never forget throwing it down and getting in the car and him driving home going like 120 miles per hour. I was so scared. My mom was having a Mary Kay party with like 60 women at the house, and I came at my house crying, bawling out. That was like one of those memorable moments that I had with this car. So it means a lot, and I'm just hoping that somebody gets a chance to take care of it the same way that he would. Obama? Ooh, that actually would be a good one. I'm still trying to meet him. I've never had a chance to meet him before, so I, I would look forward to it. But, yeah, any of those guys I would talk a, a price with, a you know? Ashton Kutcher? Ooh. He's the one that I'm searching for. He was the first and foremost. He was the guy that I wanted to get in touch with just because of his relationship with, like, the feelings that he has about my dad. But I haven't got him. So I was going to put okay. on Twitter yesterday, but, you know. It, it's a Chicago connection. Jim Belushi? No. Even if you guess it, I can't Okay, get it. all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> and Michael Jordan it is not one of those guys. No, J Jordan's not. I actually bought one of Jordan's cars back in the day when I got to the Tennessee Titans. So it's one of the first purchases that I ever made. Wait, what did you BMW buy? 760. A BMW 760 of his, a black one. I had no house. I had no. I, I was renting an apartment. I got my first check with the Tennessee Titans, and I bought I bought a car that I could have lived in that had a refrigerator in the back. Uh, it was it was un it was unreal, unbelievable car. But you know, my life has changed now, and everything now is family oriented. And if I can't put two car seats in the back of that thing for my kids, it, it, and my wife doesn't like driving in it, then you know it's time to go. And I'm looking forward to seeing whoever gets this and some of the pictures that come along with it. And just that feeling of my dad, that's the presence that the car has. It's, it's unbelievable. It's in great shape and only under 10,000 miles. So mm. there's, there's not a lot of miles on this car. Uh, Jared, great to uh, talk to you again and I hope the career is going well and uh, good luck with the auction tomorrow. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me. That's uh, Jared Payton. Uh, his dad, of course, Walter Payton. The auction will be, it starts today, but the car will be auctioned off tomorrow on NBCSN. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.